Hey guys, this is some exciting and breaking news. What I've decided to do is a mini series of DIYs and decorating with me for my son's Avengers and Infinity War theme room. Come along, stay tuned, and enjoy the journey. Let's go. Hey everybody out there, this is Christina with Christina's Creative Creations. And I'm back with you with another video. I think I said that right. But anyways, hey. Um, I started on a video uh, with my son's letters for his room, which is the Avengers. No, the Infinity War, I think. Yeah, but I'll correct myself in the long haul if, you know, I'm wrong. But anyway, I guess it's going to be a part two because I did start it off um, with this head and the other letters, but... Um, I didn't get a chance to finish because I was really busy. And, uh, yeah, life goes on. So, I showed you guys that I did. Went on ahead and drew the hawk head. Like I said, I know he kind of looked like the the little scary little phantom man on... What is that? On Scooby-Doo. I don't know if you guys have watched Scooby-Doo, but, yeah, I think where I drew this, he looks a little like the little phantom man head man thingy. And my daughter told me that she thinks it looks like, um, <laughs> wait, what did she say? She said it looks like, uh, the man off of, I think it's the scary movie when, and it was like, take my hand. One of those guys, what she said she, it looked like, I don't know, but yeah. Uh, okay gonna show you again this is what he uh my nine-year-old chose look how he oh, I don't think he get no bigger and this is what I got like listen when I draw I'm not good I can draw cartoons and certain things like that fairly well but when it comes down to faces even though I know he's a cartoon when it comes down to faces I don't know you guys, let me know what you think. Especially like human faces. Oh, I'm done. I, mm -mm. I don't know what I'd be doing. So this is what I came up with. This. I don't know if it's too bright, but yeah. Um. Oh, he got bigger right here. Oh. Where my iPad fall? Oh. Wait a minute now. Hey, look what I found out. Look what my iPad could do. Ooh. Wait a minute. Okay, so let me show it to you a little bigger. All right, all right. I think that's bigger. He is a little bigger. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so what I wanted to show you guys is when I do these heads, um, on these little letters, I like to do them according, you know, kind of like the size and sometimes it'll be a little off, but it's, it's, um, whatever your perception is, whatever you like. Um, and I didn't want it to be too big compared to the other, um, the other letters that I did. Like say for instance, this, and I wanted to be proportionate to you know the body. Say for instance this. This is the J, right? For the Black Panther. Okay. This is the Spider-Man. But because these are the same letters. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Give you a little thing. If I was to put this on here. To me. Even though uh, his J is. Huge in size. See, there's a difference in the letters. Uh, his name is Josiah. So the J, that's the first letter of his name, this is bigger. And I have his last initial that's going to be on the end of his whole name, which is bigger as well, which is a W in his Iron Man. So I just want you to see the size compared to this one. So if I was to put this, I'm trying to say it to where I make sense. If I was to put this here, right? Okay, y'all get it? Let me see. I'm trying to make sure it's in the film. 
And if I was to take this here, of course it will match up with the other letters, but I don't know if it'll be too big next to this. I don't know if I'm making sense, guys, if you guys are understanding me. I'm understanding myself in my head. Okay, I'm going to get into this video. As y'all can see, I wore green a day to support the hawk, you know, in his little endeavor, you know, his little uh, quest, his little mission to be creative. You know, I'm just trying to encourage him like, yeah, hawk, you got this. You know, be encouraged, baby. You don't mind because you look like, the, you know, little phantom guy on Scooby-Doo. You know, you, you got this. I, you know, I, I'm going to hook you up. You're going to look how you're supposed to look, I, you know, I think. Uh, but I don't know. But we gonna help Hulk out. Y'all excuse me, cause I don't know how to um really use this. So what color? So is Hulk hair dark green? Like black with some green highlights? Look at Hulk got highlights. All right, Hulk, you better come through. See, I wanna know why Hulk nose is up in his uh eyebrows. That's what I want to know. I'm just saying. He got a little contouring going on. But you know, again, I'm, I'm here to support you, Hawk. I got you. I got, I, I got you. Child. I don't know. I'm just saying. Hawk got a little contouring going on. That's all I'm saying. A little contouring. Well, I, 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 you know, I think that's what you call it. Contour. Stroke over this enough to see all of his features. Even though Hawk got some highlights, I, I'm telling you, Hawk hell, on. Hawk, shh, I ain't even know Hawk was doing it big like this. I, I just want to know who was Hawk stylist, who was his, you know, his beautician. That's all I want to know. And what I'm just doing is, is pulling the green up here for his little highlights, and you know, I'll go over with the black, and I'm gonna have to go over with the green, but you know, you know. So this is one of the first steps. See how you can't even see the um, what do you call that? All the time is like a different green. There is like a shine, you know, here and there going throughout Hulk. Oh, look at Hulk, child! Look at Hulk chest and his little nipples. I don't know if you can see it, but it's a shine that's sparkling. Um. Let me find another picture. Let me go ahead and brush his hair first. <laughs> have to, uh, you can just leave it like brown. It's up to you. Your creation, your style. So, yeah. Fix Hawk here. I don't know if I want his hair to go all the way over, um, smearing with it to give him like those highlight effects. And I wait till it gets dry a little bit to go back in again to pull out some more of his highlights. So this might kind of like overpower the, uh, the black, but that is totally fine. Yeah, 
on this side of the head the hair is flowing this way on that side you know it's kind of like doing a little you know got a little sense of direction okay see and it's kind of making it look like he kind of got strands you know little strands of green I don't know if you can kind of see it but yeah No, I do have a little fan brush that I probably can play with. Let me see. Okay, then this is just want to, you know, see me win and some of the other kids. But at the time, my mom was like, you know, she wasn't into all that, so I kind of went down the drain. But yeah. Anyway, what we had, uh, there was like this school downtown, like this little college school, and they only took um they only took these kids. I guess you had to be like a certain age, but because some of my paintings were like you know good and you know up to par like i got accepted into this school at a young age i'm gonna fix this with like some of the the green and i'm gonna fix up the mouth i don't know i don't really like how his he is a little dark. Let me see. Let me see. Y'all have lines. I don't know if you can see this. I'm going to go ahead and... um. I'm gonna go ahead and... So far... somewhere just put a little more detail in. this is this will probably be too big I don't know I'm gonna see but I do want it to be kind of animated and a little extra so I don't know what do you guys think? Do I should I make the head smaller? I just love how this is glistening. I know it's not picking up. So this is this without it, and this is the head with it. So what do you guys think? Yay or nay? But I love it. And on camera, like I say, it's making the hawk look so crazy. I don't know the camera because it's not picking up all of the like details, but in person. Hawk is cute. Okay, I'm going to take some still pictures. And I'm going to show you guys. But I'm going to get my son's approval. I'll be back. To be continued for part three of this mini series. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. And hit that notification bell. So you can be notified when your girl is back up in your DMs. Or your messages. Or however you receive my notifications. Thumbs up this video to let me know that you did enjoy it. Thanks for watching and don't forget to stay tuned and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.